Guys, this morning, I had the beautiful God-given opportunity to be ministered to, <laughs> corrected by, and encouraged by the love of my life. And I'm just grateful for the man of God that God has in my life. And um, on our daily morning conversations, um, what I did was I woke up in a rather a, not a positive mood. And every word that was coming out my mouth was sort of of defeat. Okay. And then, um, babe, he was just like, um, you know, and not too many words. And I just don't want to have all our conversation broadcast. But in not too many words, he said, you know, you need to watch your words. You know, because if you continue to confess, if you continue to speak like that, that will manifest in our reality. So just me hearing him say that to me, I'm just like, what am I doing? You know, so we ended our conversation on a good note, you know, the glory to God. And I instantly went to the word and I instantly started filling myself with prayer and worship so that I can combat, hallelujah, Jesus, the negative thoughts. I can combat the, the, those feelings. I had to change my words, change my confession. And think about that. Just having that conversation with babe and after I got off the phone and I was eager hallelujah Jesus to change those negative emotions into positive godly proverb 31 emotions you know what I mean I had to start confessing something different than what my thoughts were saying you know I am amazing today is going to be extremely great I am blessed and extremely favored by God God's blessings will manifest throughout this day. Today is going to be awesome. <laughs> I am positive. I have godly positive thoughts generating through my mind. I am a source of light. I had to change every negative thing that was uh, seeping Just up. Changing our words will change our state of mind, which then will change our emotions. Babe was like, don't be ran by your feelings. Don't be ran by your emotions. All right? Because they are not fact. God's word is fact. And in um, 1 Samuel, thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus, ch chapter 30, um, around verse 6. All right, verse 6. Uh, David, when he was distressed, when he was down, when he was, hallelujah, Jesus, had everything going against him. All right, nobody was on his side, not the people, not the world, nothing was going right. You know what David did? He encouraged himself in the Lord. He encouraged himself through the word of God. That's how he, hallelujah, Jesus was able to succeed. We say things are hard when we say that we can't. Those are things that will manifest have to talk to ourselves every single day to build ourselves up guys repeating kingdom affirmations over and over repeating scriptures and passages out of the bible hallelujah jesus and just saying positive words strong resilient kind resourceful friendly joyous these are the things that our mind needs to hear because hallelujah jesus our mind is a battleground and it's in, in that battleground our mind is soil all right and and every day seeds are being planted whether we like it or not that seeds being planted right now so so watch what we put in our ears our eye gates even the smells even what we process these things matter because they reflect hallelujah jesus our thoughts